Well, what a joy it is to be here in the beautiful country of Tanzania. What an overwhelming experience to be in the on the continent of my ancestry and in this part of the world. This is my first time here, but I guarantee it's not going to be my last. Na namshukuru Mungu kwa sababu anaminipa fursa ya kuwepo katika nchi ya mababu zangu. Ni marangu ya kwanza kuwepo hapa, lakini ni wahakikishia haitakuwa marangu ya kwanza nitaendelea kuja. And we've come with a few of our uh, members of our Rod and Staff Ministries here from the US. We're coming from California, Illinois and Texas. Tumekuja pamoja na timu kutoka huduma yangu ya Ron Ministries ambayo tumetokea maeneo ya uh, Texas, Houston na maeneo mengine mengine kwa ajili ya kuja hapa. And so we're going to be here uh, throughout the week. We're going to be promoting the crusade. Okay. Okay. We're going to be here th throughout this week promoting the crusade. I want to go because of the time. Go for it. I want to interpret. Go. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And so uh, we're looking just for God to make a mighty move in this place for the people of God. We also have my my baby sister here, Dr. Cherie, uh, is going to be conducting uh, with the medical t uh, staff here. Uh, we'll be doing health screenings. Uh, then uh, Pastor Apostle uh, Cassandra uh, Scott is going to be doing a prayer clinic on Saturday. And I'm telling you, we're looking to have a tremendous out pouring of God's spirit that this city Dar es Salaam Tanzania would not Tanzania excuse me will never be the same because the Bible says that in the day of God's power the people will be willing and so that those that hunger and thirst after righteousness shall be filled so we're looking for an outpouring like never before Amen. and we are just so excited to be here God bless you I love Tanzania kwa ajili ya kuhubiri injili tutakuwa na mkutano wa injili kwa muda wa siku tatu katika viwanja vya pale TCL kijitonyama lakini hatujaja hajaja tu hivyo na timu hiyo ya hao wahubiri lakini pia amekuja na dada mmoja ambaye ni Talam daktari ambaye tutakuwa na wakati wa siku mbili ambazo wa Tanzania mnakaribishwa wa Tanzania mnakaribishwa kuja katika viwanja vile vya pale TCL kutakuwa na uchunguzi wa matibabu na magonjwa mbalimbali kwa bure kabisa kwa hiyo ana furaha kwamba atakuwepo hapa kwa hizo siku tatu za tarehe 20 21 paka na tarehe 22 kwenye mkutano wa hadhara na zile siku mbili za mwanzo 20 21 zitakuwa ni siku ambazo zitakuwa za kutizamwa kidaktari kwa hiyo watu wote mnakaribishwa katika viwanja tuendelee kuchukua nafasi hii ni waombe tu wa Tanzania wenzangu mimi nimetokea Mwanza kilomita 1200 umbali wote huo nimekuja kwa ajili ya kongamano changamkie ni hizi fursa ni fursa ambayo ina chukuliwa na watu wote ni fursa ambayo wamekuja madaktari atashirikiana na madaktari wetu hapa nchini na mambo yote yako sawa msikose kuja kwenye hiyo kongamano utakuwa ni wakati mzuri kwa hiyo amesema anaipenda sana Tanzania anategemea kumwona Mungu akifanya mambo makubwa katika nchi yetu ya Tanzania santeni sana Okay, we have the director of the medical division for Rod and Staff Ministries. We are so excited. This is my second time back on the continent of Africa. The first time was in Ethiopia 11 years ago. But I'm back today with the dynamic crew where we're going to have medical screening. I mean, oh my god, the staff that has come together for the medical screening for the people of this community is absolutely phenomenal and it is free to you. So spread the word. And in addition to providing medical screening, we're going to have some conversation conversation about how to deal with certain things with your health, your mental health, your spiritual health and your physical health. And I'm so grateful that I think one of these nights that I'll have the opportunity to bring the word of God as well. So we are super excited. Come on out if you want to do better about your health. Take care of these bodies that God has entrusted you with. Come on out. We're going to show you how to live better, be better and do better. God bless you. Yes. Amen. Definitely thinking about having a branch here. Uh, we're already making plans of being back here in uh, July of next year. Uh, but we're as we're looking to expand because our point is uh, of our ministry is not just to be here as a point in time, but to have a sustained work in this area because we know that what's going on in this country and what's going on in this continent is not going to be solved by just one meeting or just one three-day crusade or just one ministry coming in. But it's about having a 
continued work and a continued presence in this uh, region, in this city, in this country. So we're looking to, uh, within the next year, to establish a branch of Rod and Staff Ministries here. Because again, a purpose of our ministry, yes, salvation is key and paramount. But we have other three, you know, because the, we have the medical division with Dr. Prentice, but we also looking to uh, impact from an education standpoint, how we can help our young people. I was so blessed by the young children that came and greeted me, but you know, we want to impact their lives. Uh, on Saturday morning or Saturday afternoon, we're gonna meet with university students. Uh, and so, uh, and Dr. What is it? Dr. McGee, he heads our uh, education division and to bring uh, support in the education. But then the, and our fourth component is our entrepreneurial and occupational division that looks to uh, do occupational development uh, entrepreneurial development to bring forth to, to grow businesses uh, to empower you to make the changes in your life God can do only so much but then we have to do the rest what do we I grew up and what we used to say if you take once if you make one step God will make two but I think in this time we need to take two and three four steps and let God do the rest but we must be actively engaged and not just temporarily and not just one point in time. So we look to be here in, in Tanzania, Tanzania, Tanzania for a long time. Amen. Yes. Amen. 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 Dada meuliza swali kwamba unampango wakuja kuweka tawi hapa Tanzania. Kwa kifupi sana mesema ndiyo. Nimekuja hapa nitarudi tena mwezi wa Julai mwakani ili tuweze kuendelea na mipango mingine mizuri zaidi. Lakini amekuja na watu mbalimbali katika idara mbalimbali nasema mbali. katika sababu katika huduma yake ya Ron kuna idara nyingi mbalimbali kuna idara ya elimu ambayo watahitaji kuonana na wanafunzi wa viuoni kuna idara ya ya tiba amemwona dr sheria ameongea hapa watakuwa na wakati wa kupima watu na wagonjwa mbalimbali lakini pia kuna idara ya mafunzo ya neno la Mungu vyote hivyo amesema yuko tayari mwakani hapa atakapokuja anasema nitakuja ukandani kukaa Tanzania muda mrefu sana because we take our premise from John 10 and 10, where it says, Jesus says, I come that you might have life and that more abundantly. For me, that life that, that Jesus mentions first is eternal life. So we want everyone to have eternal life. But what's, uh, I don't, don't want to say what's the good, but I think in addition, he says, and more abundantly. And that abundant life, I think our focus also will be how to uh, ensure and uh, give the opportunities for the people of Tanzania to have their abundant life, to have access to resources, access to medical services and medical care, access to better education, access to better jobs. One of the things that has, uh, I, for me, has troubled me about this, co this country and this continent is the economy and so tons, uh, the people of this country are just as smart brilliant and bright as the other people around the world but what they have lacked was opportunity and I and what we want to do is not just bring salvation yeah. or the opportunity for salvation but the opportunity for economic development economic growth personal growth personal health because when someone says that your health is your wealth yes that is true but then uh, outside of that our focus is also on building up the people because if you build the people, they'll build the community. You build the community, you'll build the city. Yes. You build the city, you'll build the nation. Yes. The nation can turn around, not by governmental leaders, but by the people of God. And the, one of the things that scripture tells us says the government shall be upon our shoulders. So uh, upon his shoulders, therefore upon our shoulders. So we're not coming here to look out, look for handouts for the government. We're looking how we can partner with the government officials here and how we can get access to yes. uh, the, the resources to the people. Because because a lot of times the resources may come in but they don't get to the people but we're taking it to the streets we're taking it to the people and so not bypassing anyone but going directly to where the need is because that's what Jesus did Jesus didn't spend time in the synagogues he didn't spend time with the politicians he spent time with the people and that's what we're going to be doing with Rod and staff not just in crusades and meetings but spending time with the people yeah tumekuja hapa kwa ajili ya kuhakikisha mwili wa Kristo na hudumiwa ilivyo kikamilifu. Sawa sawa, umeuliza swali kwamba je, 
una tofauti gani mimi pamoja na wahubiri wengine tofauti yetu ni wito tu wito tu ndio unaotofautisha lakini jambo lilo kubwa ni ile Yohana kumi, kumi. nasema Yesu alisema mimi nalikuja ili wawe na uzima nao wawe na uzima tele lengo hapa ni kuhakikisha watu wanapata uzima tele sio uzima tele tu kwa kuhubiri injili lakini uzima tele katika nyanja mbalimbali mbali. tunajua hii nchi na rasilimali nyingi sana ambazo kwa pamoja huduma yangu ya road na road ministry tukishirikiana pamoja na serikali tutaweza kabisa kuhakikisha kwamba wale watu wa kawaida watu wa na nchi wanapata kufurahia rasilimali zilizopo na sisi tutashirikiana kutoa fursa mbalimbali maana linaonekana fursa ndio inakuwa tatizo tutasimama kushirikiana pamoja na timu tulionayo pamoja na wenzetu ambao hatukuja nao hapa kushirikiana na serikali katika kuhakikisha kwamba zile fursa zilizoko zinatumika vizuri inavyotakikana Ninaomba nizungumze kidogo juu ya kile kinachoendelea sasa hivi duniani kama mwili wa Kristo. Tunajua wazi kabisa kwamba uh, Israeli wana vita pamoja na Palestina. Wewe niweze kusema jambo moja ambalo unapaswa mtu wa Mungu uweze kulifahamu. Sisi kanisa la Kristo Tanzania ili uweze kuelewa tunachokielewa na watu waweze kuelewa. Hawa ambao m- wote ambao wanaogombana sasa hivi ni watoto wa baba mmoja mama tofauti biblia inasema hajiri alizaa mtoto anaitwa Ishmael na mtoto wa ahadi aliyezaliwa kupitia kwa Sara alikuwa mtoto anaitwa Isaka Mungu akasema hajiri baada ya kuonekana analeta dharau Mungu akamwambia mke wake aongee na Ibrahim kwamba huyu mama aondoke yeye na mtoto wake hakufurahia jambo hili Ibrahim lakini Biblia inasema Mungu alimwambia msikilize mkeo Sara maana huyu naye nitakwenda kumfanya kuwa taifa aliondoka Ishmael pamoja na mwanae na mama yake uh, Hajiri malaika akawatokea wakiwa jangwani hiki ndio tunachokifahamu malaika alimwambia huyu naye nitamfanya kuwa taifa huyu naye nitamfanya kuwa taifa Watoto wa Ishmaeli ni taifa ambalo linatambulikana kibiblia na watoto wa Ibrahim ambao ni Israeli wa Yahudi ni taifa ambao linafahamiana linafahamika kibiblia kama kanisa la Kristo sisi Tanzania tunachohitaji ni amani kati ya hawa ndugu tunahitaji amani tu kati ya hawa ndugu na ni maombi yetu kuwaombea kwamba wawe na amani waweze kuendeleza amani maana ni ndugu wa baba mmoja hilo tu ndilo naweza nikalisema kama wa kanisa la Tanzania tunataka amani na tunahitaji amani iweze kudumu mashariki ya kati Mungu awabariki sana